Section 1.8 is about IPv6 addressing and prefix. Let's start with IPv6 addressing basics. What is IPv6? It's a 128-bit address written in hexadecimal and divided into 8 groups, each 4 hex digits. The 8 groups are also separated by columns. It consists of two parts, the network portion and the host portion. Network part is used to identify the network and use for routing. Host part is used to identify the host itself. The network portion is also divided into two parts. The global routing prefix, which is typically the first 48 bits, and assigned by an ISP or registry, which identifies the public network or organization. And subnet ID, this is the next 16 bits after the global routing prefix. It allows organizations to define subnets internally and often combined with the global prefix to make a full slash 64 network prefix. IPv6 also has compression rules to make addresses easier to read. In an IPv6, a group can consist of all zeros. In such a case, we do not need to write all the zeros in the address. We can just write one zero, which means four zeros in a group. We can also omit leading zeros in each hextet. Leading zeros can be dropped to shorten the address. Keep in mind that only the leading zeros can be dropped. We cannot drop any zero at the middle or at the end of a group. There can also be many zeros in many groups of IPv6 address. IPv6 has double colon shorten mechanism. We can use double colon to shorten continuous zeros in an address. The important point is this. We can use double colon only once in an IPv6 address. Up next is the IPv6 prefix. An IPv6 prefix defines the network portion of an IPv6 address, similar to how IPv4 uses subnet mask like slash 24. It's written in CIDR notation. This means the first 64 bits are the network prefix and the remaining 64 bits are used for host or interface identifiers. Here are the common prefix lengths in IPv6. And now here are the IPv6 Cisco commands. These commands assign an IPv6 address to an interface. And don't forget to enable IPv6 after. The show IPv6 interface brief command show configured addresses. It lists all interfaces and their IPv6 addresses. It also shows the status of each interface. The first up down is for layer 1 or the physical layer. The second up down is for layer 2 or data link layer. This is useful for quick interface and IP address checks. The show IPv6 neighbors command verify neighbors, which is similar to ARP in IPv4. Similar to the IPv4 ARP table, this shows the IPv6 to MAC address mapping. The state field examples is reach, where the neighbor is reachable, or stale, where there is no recent communication, waiting for traffic to re-verify. This is also useful for troubleshooting connectivity between devices. The show IPv6 route command views the routing table. It displays the IPv6 routing table where the route codes are the following. C means the network the router is directly connected to. L means router's own IP address. And the S means manually configured by an admin. Each route entry shows the prefix, administrative distance or metric, next hop or interface, and it's useful for verifying routing paths and network reachability. 
Here's some IPv6 exam tips. Practice identifying prefixes and interface IDs in given IPv6 addresses. Always assume slash 64 unless the question says otherwise. And remember that IPv6 doesn't need net, so more subnets are freely usable. The length of an IPv6 address. How is an IPv6 prefix written? Command that shows IPv6 interfaces on a Cisco device. Command to view IPv6 neighbors.